We achieved robust results in a challenging environment in 2023. Um, revenues was up 15%. Um, the operating profit came in on par with prior year, and we more than doubled um, our operating um, cash flow to more than 10 billion euro. So this gives us um, confidence that we are yeah, for, for 2024. 2024 will be a challenging year with a lot of macroeconomic uncertainty, um, macroeconomic headwinds, inflation on the cost side, also a lot of competition in the BVs, but there are also positives. Huh? Positives on, from the overall market, we expect the overall market to grow by 2 to 3%. Um, we have great products, we have a great product offensive, we talked about that before. And last but not least, we, we launch ambitious uh, performance programs. So and these ingredients give us confidence for, for the year 2024. Let's talk about, like, a, a little bit about the general growth story behind, because you're saying, of course, there's loads of competition, especially probably from China. So how serious is that competition if you look at how much subsidies they're getting? They, they, they are very cost efficient. Um, so in a nutshell, how much threat is there from Chinese competitors? Hmm. Um, when you talk about Chinese competitors, I assume you talk about Europe. I mean, yes. China for China is a... Is a a different story. In Europe, we have a very strong position. We have strong products, we have great brands, we have also a lot of fleets, um, fleet customers, um, and we work on, on productivity and on, on the cost base. And with these ingredients, we, we are convinced that we, we have a very, very good position and a very strong position going forward. We take the Chinese competitors serious, um, as we did before with Japanese and Korean uh, competition. Uh, but we're convinced we, we have a, a very strong future in Europe. Yeah, let's look also on the Chinese market because there um, the combustion engines, you have been very strong with electrified vehicles. It looks a bit weaker and weak, essentially. Um, how do you want to turn around your fortunes there? No, you're exactly right. We have a very strong position in the combustion engine business, more than 20% share. It even grew last year. But we have to catch up in, in the BV segment. Um, when we look at the BV segment, look, we started with a global product, ID3, ID4, and we realized we have to improve this product for the Chinese market, basically in three areas, driving assistance functions, in-car infotainment, and also on the cost base, specifically on the cost for the battery. And for these uh, topics, we launched programs. We, we work together with Horizon Robotics to bring driving assistance functions. We team up with Thundersoft to increase our in-car infotainment. We bring features like karaoke, and last but not least, we, we get an LFP battery from, from Goshen, which is much cheaper and then gives us in the position to, to also offer a more competitive pricing. When will you be able to offer this more, more competitive pricing in China? So these, these measures, uh, they will kick in over the next one to two years, uh, and this is also why we significantly, uh, well, we said we, we will be able um, to to, to, to catch up in two to three years, 2025, 2026 onwards, also with the new product substance from um, Xiaopeng, when we bring two models uh, on the Xiaopeng platform to, to Volkswagen models. Uh, and in between, we are prepared to deliberately give market share in, in line with our value over volume strategy.